Hey folks, this is Mr. Woodward talking about dimensional analysis, uh, helping us to make unit conversions. So starting at the top, in dimensional analysis, a ratio, right? It's a ratio which converts one unit of measure like miles into another like kilometers without changing the value is called a conversion factor. For example, if you know that 0.61 miles is equal to one kilometer, then you can write this as one of two conversion factors. So this is a conversion factor, that's a conversion factor. Uh, they're identical except that they're just flipped over. Uh, they're, they're inverses of each other. So these fractions are each equal to one, since in both cases the length in the numerator is equal to the length in the denominator. So you will notice that um, if 0.61 miles, for example here, and one kilometer are the same length, then if you divide uh, the top by the bottom, since they are exactly the same length, you'll just get something equal to one. You will also get the same thing here um, because the units are different. One divided by 0.61 is not equal to one, but one kilometer, the physical length of one kilometer divided by the physical length of 0.61 miles, those are exactly the same lengths. So dividing them will give you something equal to one. So in both cases, the length in the numerator is equal to the length in the denominator. They're just expressed in different units. Since these fractions are each equal to one, you can multiply any quantity by them without changing the value of the quantity. You'll only change its units. This is the big idea behind conversion factors. So let's take a look at some examples to see how this works, starting with example one. There are 12 inches in one foot. How many feet are in 100 inches? So one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to take this information, 12 inches in one foot, and I'm just going to write out my conversion factor possibilities. I can either write that as 12 inches over one foot, or I can write it as one foot over 12 inches. Both of them are saying the same thing. They're both equal to one. So it's just going to depend on how the math works out. And then here's my starting place, 100 inches. That's what I want to convert. So I'm going to start here by writing 100 inches and then I'm gonna multiply by my conversion factor. So which of these two is going to help me convert from inches to feet? Well, whichever one allows me to put inches in the denominator is gonna be the more helpful one. So I'm gonna put inches in the denominator here because I want inches to cancel out. And then I wanna relate inches to feet on top. So which is the more helpful one here? It's gonna be this one. One foot is equal to 12 inches. And when I do the math, I just do 100 uh, divided by 12, which gives me 8.33 feet. And why is it feet? Because feet here was never canceled out. So feet remains. Let's keep going. Example two, how many inches are in a mile, and here's a new conversion factor, there's 5,280 feet per mile. So again, that can either be 5,280 feet in one mile, or one mile in 5,280 feet. So what am I trying to convert? I'm trying to convert a mile to inches. So here is my starting place, one mile. And I'm gonna multiply by a conversion factor. Well, since I wanna get rid of miles, I'm gonna go ahead and write that on the, in the uh, denominator of the first conversion factor. And so uh, which one of these two conversion factors has miles in the bottom? This one, that's the more useful one. So I'm gonna write one mile is 5,280 feet. Okay, so now miles is canceling out. And right now, I'm in feet. But the question is how many inches? That's where I wanna go, inches. So I'm gonna keep going and convert feet to inches. So I'm gonna put feet on the bottom because I wanna get rid of feet. And I'm gonna put inches in the top. And I'm gonna pull in a conversion factor from the previous problem, which is now um, this one here, 12 inches in one foot, it's gonna come into play. So I'm gonna throw that in, 
and help me finish this problem. There are 12 inches in one foot. And so now feet go away. So I'm gonna do one mile times 5,280 times 12, and it's gonna give me 63,360 inches, right? Because inches was never canceled out, so it remains. So that was a two-step conversion. I needed two conversion factors, one from the current example, one from the previous example, and combining them. All right, example three. A student is riding her bike at a speed of 30 miles per hour. How many kilometers per hour is this? So now this one is tricky because we're converting rates, right? 30 miles per hour, that's a speed, to kilometers per hour, that's a new speed. So we actually have a more complicated uh, measurement. So I'm gonna start um, with, with the one that I'm given, this, this 30 miles per hour. And uh, I'm gonna write it here, 30 miles per hour. Now, first of all, you might say, isn't that a conversion factor? And I would say, no, that is not a conversion factor because 30 miles is not equal to one hour. The thing on the top is not the same as the thing on the bottom. The thing on the top is a distance. The thing on the bottom is a time. So this is not a conversion factor because a conversion factor has two of the same things, right? It would have to be a distance over a distance or a time over a time. This is not a conversion factor. This is a rate, it's a speed. So I'm not starting with a conversion factor. I'm starting with the information given to me uh, in the problem about how fast the student is writing. So now I'm gonna keep going and add a conversion factor. And I wanna to get to kilometers per hour. So am I trying to get rid of miles or am I trying to get rid of hours? I'm trying to get rid of miles. And so I'm gonna go ahead and write miles on the next line because that's what I wanna get rid of. And I wanna go from miles to uh, kilometers, right? So I'm gonna throw kilometers on top. Well, do I know how many miles are in a kilometer? Um, yeah, I think this is up here at the top. There are 0 0.61 miles in one kilometer. So I'm gonna pull that into play. Uh, I'm sorry, it's actually gonna be the other one. Uh, kilometers on top, miles on the bottom. One kilometer over 0 0.61 miles. And now, if I do that math, I get 49.18. And uh, what are my units? I'm gonna try to get out of the red and green combo. Well, I've got kilometers uncanceled on top, and I've got hours uncanceled on the bottom. So it's gonna be kilometers per hour. And I'm done, right? That's what it was asking for. How many kilometers per hour is this? So I've just converted from one speed into another. Let's kick it up one more time. Kick up the intensity one more time. Here we go. Example four. The same student is now riding her bike at 20 miles per hour. All right, so there's my starting point. Convert this to meters per second. Okay. This means that I need to go from miles to meters and I need to go from hours to seconds. So I'm going to need to make two kinds of conversions. I'm gonna to need to make a distance conversion and I'm gonna to need to make a time conversion all together. So I'm gonna separate them uh, out. First, I'm gonna convert the distance of miles to meters. I'm gonna do this first. And then I'm gonna convert the time of hours to seconds. I'm gonna break it up into those two steps. See if we can get this right. All right, so first I'm gonna convert from miles to meters, but I can't go directly from miles to meters. I gotta go to kilometers, because I had that one from before. And uh, I'm gonna use this one up here 
There's one kilometer in 0 0.61 miles. So I'm just copying that from the previous problem. Miles are gone. And right now I'm in kilometers on top, hours on the bottom. So let's keep going. Uh, remember, I needed to go from miles to meters, miles to meters. So um, now I'm ready to go and convert this kilometers that I was in to meters. So kilometers are now going to go away. There are a thousand meters in one kilometer. Uh, I did not give you that conversion factor in this particular problem. That's just the knowledge of the metric system that kilo means a thousand. So there are a thousand meters in one kilometer. All right, at this point, if I stopped right now, my answer would be in meters per hour. I need to get to meters per second though. So I have successfully made the conversion from miles to meters. I've made the distance conversion. Now I'm ready to make the, now, now I need to make the time conversion. So I need to make this, uh, this second conversion here from hours to seconds. Okay, so here we go. My hours are way over here. And they are not yet canceled. So I'm going to pay attention to those hours. And I'm going to write in my next conversion factor hours on top. Because I want them to cancel with this hours on the bottom in the very first, uh, in this very first thing over here. So um, here we go. From hours, I'm going to go to minutes. There are 60 minutes in one hour. So now hours will go away. I'm gonna show you this sort of long distance cancellation. This hours cancels with that hours. And now I'm gonna go from uh, minutes on top, two seconds. There are 60 seconds in one minute. So now these minutes cancel here. Let me, let me help you out with the colors. So now these minutes cancel. All right, if I were to stop here, what would my units be in? Well, meters never canceled. Um, it's still here. And seconds never canceled. So it's here. And look, I was being asked to find the answer in meters per second. So I'm done. Now I'm just going to do the math. 20 divided by 0.61 times 1,000 divided by 60 divided by 60 is going to give me 9.11 meters per second. Example four right there is, uh, is, a, is about as difficult as it gets. So if you can follow that, you're good to go on unit conversions.